Welcome back to U.S. Farm Report. Trusted, timely, tradition. Unspoken truth about pests on U.S. Farm Report. Brought to you by Duracade Viptera Trait Stacks. Guarding against 16 above and below ground corn pests like mid-season threats of corn rootworm, earworm, and western bean cutworm. Comprehensive control when it matters most. Well, pests can cost U.S. farmers billions of dollars annually from yield loss. But as Michelle Rook shows us in this week's Unspoken Truth About Pests, there's one pest spreading in soybean field as production pushes farther north and west. It may come as a surprise to many farmers, but soybean cyst nematode or SCN is the number one yield robbing pest in soybeans. There are no in-season rescue treatments, but farmers can check fields now for this parasite and put together an integrated management plan for next year. So I can see a few here. Greg Tilka with Iowa State heads up the SCN Coalition. 250, so that's the little female full of 250 eggs. He says nematodes are microscopic worms that live in the soil. When they infect soybean roots, Eventually, the female swells into a little lemon-shaped object, but it's tiny. It's about the size of a period at the end of a printed sentence, but we can see them with our naked eye. He says fields with low levels of infestation may show very few symptoms, but become more pronounced as populations climb. So there's stunting and there's yellowing, but it won't be uniform. It'll be in patches because the nematode is very patchy or aggregated. And some indirect uh, symptoms are um, areas of a field that have poor weed control. Um, they might not look sick, but it's poor weed control because they are stunted and the plants don't close over as quickly. So Tilko says many farmers don't even realize they have SCN, which can make it a silent yield robber. We could have up to 30% yield loss without any loss of color of the plants, height of the plants, or weight of the leaves. When you get into severe situations where you can see even mild stunting or mild yellowing, it goes up from there. 30% loss on 70 bushel beans equates to 21 bushels, and with $14 soybeans, that's $294 per acre, which makes SCN the most costly pest in soybeans. Soybean cyst nematode for the last 20 years has been ranked the most damaging soybean pathogen in, in all of North America, so that's the U.S. and Canada, and estimates are consistently around $1.5 billion, that's billion with a B, annually. Farmers can check for SCN through fall soil sampling or in season with a root dig. What we do this time of year uh, is really encourage farmers and agronomists to get out in their field, carry a spade. You don't want to pull the plants, you want to dig the plants, shake the soil from the roots and look for those females. Once detected, farmers can use an integrated management plan, which includes varietal selection. Tilka says 95% of varieties with common resistance have lost effectiveness, but there is one with a unique type of resistance. It's called Peking resistance, Peking, like the city in China. So farmers will want to grow both. They're going to have to grow the common resistance. They should search out the uncommon Peking resistance. He says rotation is also part of the three-pronged plan. They should rotate to corn because corn is a non-host crop and any year that a farmer grows corn in a field, SCN egg numbers will drop. Some of the eggs are going to hatch out and the little worms are going to starve. And that drop can be as little as 5 or 10% to up to 50%. Finally, Tilka recommends use of a seed treatment at planting time. And there are 8 or 9 or 10 different seed treatments every one with a different active ingredient and therefore every one with a different mode of action. SCN populations are higher in hot, dry years and in soils with higher pH. The pest is spread mostly by windborne soil, erosion, and on equipment. I'm Michelle Rook for U.S. Farm Report. Thanks so much, Michelle. And you can actually find out more unspoken truth about pests with that QR code on your screen. Well, when we come back, was pest pressure a big issue this year across the Midwest impacting yields? Pro Farmer Crop Tour kicks off on Monday, and we'll ask our analysts what they are watching next week right after the break. <laughs> 